so we are staying in room 574. So that's in the Hughes wing. The other wing here is the Saarinen wing. And let me turn this around so you can see something more interesting than me. These are the rival boards that they uh, restored. So every now and then it'll actually uh, update. I believe. Wait, that, are they are they current? Are they like current no. like modern like no, present day? No, they have TWA up there. So that doesn't exist anymore. It's a. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. So it's. Oh, those things will go on it though. Yep. Three Lumpkins. The Kuala Lumpur. Did they, they even have a service to Kuala Lumpur from here? I have no idea. <laughs> but it is pretty cool to see. So, yeah. Check it out. And hey, look at that. They have a. Uh, Right, everybody. So this is room 574. This is a two quick runway view room that I booked. The runway view is an upgrade and they charge like an extra like 20 or 25 bucks for it. But like all of the reviews that I'd seen for this hotel uh, recommended that you get the runway view upgrade. Um, and so far I'd say it's probably worth it. I, uh, we have views of terminal, uh, terminal 5, which is the JetBlue terminal right there. So that's where we'll be flying out from tomorrow. Um, but yeah, good views of the tarmac. We were actually just over there to the right earlier, and so there's a lot of activity in this area of the hotel. But yeah, turning around to the room, they have it decorated just like you're stepping back to the 1960s, which is like just such an awesome aspect of this hotel. So they've got the, uh, the classically inspired, I don't think those were actually used in the day, but uh, TWA posters for destinations that they served, and then beds, give me just a second, we need a bed test. Oh. Beds are comfortable, I think that'll work. And then, yeah, I just there's fixtures all around, like including the mini bar and fridge, um, like the gold, like room hangers, like it's got a really nice, just like 60s chic Mad Men sort of vibe. Put down the blinds too because it turns out if you're changing in here you're completely on display to all the cars that are driving by there um so yeah we're gonna go try to head up and see if the pool is open and just generally speaking now uh up and as far as i know they're still doing like paid reservations for most of the day if you want to go for free you have to go from like 7 30 to 10 in the morning so that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow um but yeah we're going to go check out connie hopefully before it closes I'm not sure what, exactly when that is but uh let's go exploring yeah all right. Okay, strike out. But that's all right. That's what I expected it would be. And actually, it's a little bit better. It's 7 a.m all the way up until 10.45, so we'll have a good shot for it tomorrow. It's like what something you would see in a movie. 
This has literally been in some movies. Really? Yeah, it's featured in uh, Catch Me If You Can, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Have you seen that? They, so they used the TWA hotel? For a couple of the scenes. It was actually, so it was set in the 60s, I think, maybe in the 80s. Um, and he, it's actually a story of a, uh, true events of this guy who pretended to be a pilot so he could like fly around the country for free. Oh. Like, that's not the only thing he did. He was a uh, famous con man, but... Anyway, it's a really good movie. You should check it out. It's uh, Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. Film recommendation. You want to go check out the bar? Yeah. All right. For the record, he's too young to drink, but you are allowed inside the county, at least as far as I'm aware. I guess we'll find out. place would look the best during the daytime but like there's just a lot of cool stuff here like check this out I remember seeing this on my twister room oh twister cool look at that you want to spin the wheel homish how do you do this or take a you yeah all right right uh right hand yellow okay spin it again no your right hand has to stay on yellow <laughs> Left foot blue. Okay, do it again. Oh, what? okay. No, nope, not like that. That's so neat. So, like, the impression I've gotten is that a lot of people use this just as like a one stop on their stay to get wherever they're going, and I think it's great for that. But like, I honestly think that you could make like a full weekend. Please, the tarmac of a visit here. We should have, uh, should have come and checked it out. It's fine, we'll do it in the morning. Oh, oh the bath? I think it's open in the bath. Oh. They are really friendly here because we missed this by like two minutes. We met a woman whose husband actually restored this plane uh, in Miami this morning. So check out yesterday's vlog if you haven't seen that yet, because that was super cool to see. But yeah, this is really pretty incredible. So none of this actually is functional anymore, but apparently literally everything is in its place. I don't think that this smoke detector is original, but that's probably for the better. thing is that at night you can actually keep walking around outside even after they close the inside. Talking to 
his mom and some family friends, and uh, he's over the moon, and they're uh, awestruck. Oh no, so. mom! Why did they get a message from Bully G that everyone has to <laughs> so, sign off something? Yeah, this is pretty cool, but no, like seriously. Does she know, wait, does she know I'm on this trip? This hotel does not look bad from any angle, and this plane looks amazing yeah, from every the, angle. Oh yeah. This is oh, too awesome. Dad, dad. All right, what'd you think? <laughs> oh man, this is all crazy. We went inside the, the airplane and we took some pictures over the, by that cart or whatever. Yeah, I'll turn it around. Yeah. There you can see that you know, that's what they used to use back in the 1960s, 70s, 80s. So this kind of shows how much has changed the aviation industry. It was just awesome to walk around out here. They've got a bunch of things, the luggage cart, like some uh, equipment for the plane that are all set up just like oh. to take the limbo underneath the tunnel again in order to not scrape our head. And yeah, I think we're gonna head back up on in, walk around, explore what else there is to see. We saw the twister room, although it seems like people have been spinning the dial a little too vigorously because it and flipped off. it was broken, he, yeah. It spun off when he, uh, when he threw I was it. Doing it. He didn't do it hard either, so. And uh, what else did we see in there? Um, I don't know, there's the whole open space, the, the boards that clack, which is amazing. Uh, just cool artwork. There's a museum around here we actually need to go find. In the morning, I'm hoping to take advantage of the uh, Peloton room. And I don't know. Let's go see what we can find. wisely removed the horn because I could not help myself to try to press the horn on this cute little car. Oh my gosh. I'm vlogging! Woo. Man, this is sick. Like, dude. I, uh, yeah, so anyway. That for us and I'm gonna put those right here and uh, yeah let's go <laughs> check out what food stuff yeah. there is and like yeah. man okay now I'm like a kid in the candy shop because I freaking love cars and I've got a few friends that I need to like call like right now all right let's go probably put my mask on camera died. I, uh, I actually have my uh, DJI Ohm 4 that I'm still trying to figure out here. Try to film some b-roll on this. Never mind. I think the universe is trying to tell me to go to sleep because I got about 60 seconds of b-roll and then my uh, phone hit its maximum memory storage. Um, yeah. Freaking awesome day here, yeah. and we're going to uh, to try to get as much sleep as we can right now, and go hit the pool during the morning free hours. Any final thoughts on the day, Havish? Wow, this was a hell of a day. We a lot, like I told you, a lot has happened. What more could you ask for? We got a view right here, which we've probably shown many times. Which we, you don't need to go over. Maybe one last time. Maybe you can go over one last time. I think that's a good one to end on. All right, yeah. see you in the morning. All right. But what we're gonna do right now is, uh, no, 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 I'm narrating from the vlog, Havish. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, 